Hey everyone, it's Vlog Sandra. I decided to do the update of what's been going on for the last couple of weeks. I hope everybody had a good um, holiday. Um, my holiday was pretty interesting. Um, my daughter was in the Houston area visiting her dad. And then it was just my husband and I, and at the time I was working, and Christmas Eve, my husband and I decided to go to Temple, and I had a TIA. Um, I don't know if anybody knows what a TIA is, but it's basically a warning sign of, of, an, of an impending stroke. Um, it's like a, like a little clot that goes up to your brain and stops the flow for a few seconds or minutes or whatever. And then it dissipates. It doesn't make your brain bleed or anything like that. Um, I'll. That's the best way to describe it. If you want me to, I can post a link for more information. I've actually had one of those before in 2001, and we later found out that I had a hole in my heart. We don't know what caused this one this time. Uh, but also my nerves in my body are not working properly. I've been having issues with, um, it feels like my arms are getting on fire and gripping things aren't very well. And it's like a funny, constant funny bone feeling in both of my arms and it goes all the way up into my neck. So when I talked to the doctor about that, it, he said it's just my nerves are not working correctly. It could be due to my unspecified autoimmune disorder. I have a rheumatology appointment um, coming up in March. They are aware that I had a TIA, so they put me on the cancellation list. Uh, but the closest I could get in was March 17th. I'm doing pretty good. Um, I lost feeling in, I had mouth droop, and I lost feeling in this arm, my right arm. and. I couldn't move my right arm and I was having problems with my leg movement. I couldn't move it, but it took like a lot of effort to move it. Um, it was really a struggle. But I started to gain all that back the same day that it happened. So I was very blessed. Also, I still have some issues with my right hand. I don't have the strength like I get used to, but I have movement. You can see that I have, I have movement. It just feels like um, this hand's constantly swollen, so when I grip things, it doesn't feel secure, if that makes any sense. Um, it does cause a little problems. I normally wear like a wrist brace uh, if I'm having to do anything that's gonna really stress out m my arm. Uh, I've been basically doing uh, housework and getting stuff done around the house as my physical therapy, because I do have this stretch band um, it's like a yoga band that I have to use for physical therapy and this resistant putty. And i just been really working around the house and I think that's been um, beneficial for me as far as doing that for my physical therapy. I was working a full-time job. I got hired at Glamour Shots as a makeup artist. I was there about a week until um, before this happened. And when this happened, my doctor basically asked me to make some lifestyle changes. So I decided to quit that full-time job because I am also still freelancing um, here from home and, you know, trying to take care of my home. And then my daughter is due in March. So I just decided, you know what, I'm not even going to worry about a full-time job. Uh, I know that our finances are really, really, really tight moving back to the States because we took a huge pay cut, but I'm okay with not working full time. I would like to work um, from home, doing something from home just to supplement my income. Currently I'm writing on hub pages, I'm crafting again, creating hair fascinators, and those will be on sale on Etsy. I probably not... Um, I have some that are done, but I probably won't get them online this week. I don't know. I might be able to get them online this week. Uh, I've been sick with a cold, and I sliced my thumb, basically the tip of my thumb off last night, doing something really stupid. I have these little cubes of brine 
shrimp for my fish and I had cut the packet with the scissors but I was trying to get the fish out because it was still frozen and I had a knife in my hand with and I'm right handed and because I don't know my strength on this I it slipped and I basically I was like this and yeah something like this and it just the knife just slipped and went right through my thumb I was really disappointed um, I I am here by myself right now because my husband has a business trip and my daughter's down in San Antonio which is perfectly okay because um, you know I'm an adult I can take care of myself uh, but it was a little bit of a struggle as I had taken some Theraflu. I was not, I was worried about driving, but I ended up driving myself to the hospital. Very disappointed in the hospital I went to, um, Metroplex here in, I live in Cove, um, Coppers Cove, but Metroplex in Colleen. That hospital just irritated the crap out of me. It took forever for me to get back. Um, I did have a flap on it, and the guy literally just took a syringe and with a little bit of saline solution, kind of wiped it off, and then put Dermabond on it. Well, I'm allergic to adhesive, so Dermabond was like the best thing to put on it. And I kept on saying, you know, well, I don't do good with uh, the Steri strips because I'm allergic to adhesives. But yet he puts the Dermabond on. I don't get it. But um, he sent me, and then it was still bleeding, and then he sent me off on my merry way. So I get home, I clean it up myself, and last night, about in the middle of the night, it started really throbbing badly. I took a look at it and I had green pus coming out of it. Yay! Awesome! And the flap was completely dead. The skin was completely dead because they waited. It took me like three hours to get back there for them to do anything. So the flap was completely dead. So I had to take the flap off and like perform minor surgery on myself and take the flap off and clean it. And it's disgusting right now. So. I really haven't had that great of the last few weeks, but I'm okay with it. But yeah, I'm doing okay from home. Oh, by the way, this is my new Kitty Celeste. If you didn't see the video when I was talking about makeup artistry stuff, this is Celeste. She likes to play on my computer, lay up on my computer, and um, she's not feeling so good. You may not know this because she's kind of really active. Ow, that hurts. Um, but she has a kitty cold, which has gotten every other animal um, a kitty cold. I actually adopted her from Second Chance in Colleen. I love that shelter. Everybody is so awesome. I wish I could take home all the animals. What are you doing? Okay. Um, so, yeah, that's what's been basically going on. So you're probably going to see me a little bit more now on YouTube. I'm probably, uh, actually, you know what, I'm not going to say probably. I am going to be increasing my videos here. I will start doing more MAC makeup looks with um, using what I have in my kit. I do need to set up a camera in my bedroom. Ow! <laughs> Sorry. Um... However, I don't have that done yet. I don't even know where um, my, I found my camera, but I can't find my power supply for it. So that may take a little while. I do have my little um, Webby cameras, the Webby HD. So I might try to use that. Or, you know what, I might just bring it over here to my computer and do it that way. Uh, I am also going to be probably doing some more craft tutorials. I need to finish up the cat tail from cats. I need to find that with during the move. I kind of like lost it. But yeah, you'll see me a little bit more um, on YouTube now. But I'm okay, everybody. I just want to let you know that I'm doing great. Uh, I'm stupid and I push my body to my limits. And I just have to like wrangling that in. So I hope everybody had a great new year and my kitty is like attacking my hand. Uh, and I will see you guys later. Bye. Where are you going?